Hi everybody and welcome to my sewing room. My name is Rosemary and this is Enchanting Rosemary Sewing and Embroidery. Okay, so I thought it would be really fun today to just do a little bit more on the Solaire sewing machine. We haven't done anything in Design Center for a while and I've been doing a couple of different little fills um, techniques with the Design Center and I've talked to a couple of customers in some of my classes and they want a step-by-step -step on how to create the fills that they can pause and do it and then pause and do it and get through it step by step so hopefully this will help you a little bit with just trying to fill in the background with some of um your quilts or maybe even trying to create your own artwork with some of the shapes so let's go to the sewing machine and let's play around with that for a little bit okay, so we're in front of the sewing machine and the first thing i'm going to do is i am going to put a design on there that i can get a pretty shape on and there this machine really doesn't have a whole lot of really pretty shapes in it so I've been trying to figure out what I was going to do and I don't know if you know this or not but if you have a new Stellaire or a Luminaire or even a 5200 or anything like that and you owned an old old brother machine and you have one of these left over from PE Design Basic or anything like that and you have a stack of these cards like this I have a stack of them. I've got a lot of money put into these cards. So you can put them in this box and bring them in through this, just like if you were bringing from a USB and you can use those Disney cards still. So don't give them away. You can still use them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go in here to the Lion King and I have Timon. I'm gonna set him down. And then I'm going to hit edit, hit the flower, and there's the shape of Timon. I'm not going to change his shape at all. I'm going to leave him just the way he is. Um, before, I've told you to make it bigger so you can line up, but we're not going to embroider him. We're just going to use his shape. So I think that's going to work. Um, there's a little white spot right here where his ear is at, but I still think that's okay. So I'm going to put that in the memory, say okay, and delete him. And then I'm going to go back into here and I'm going to get the Lion King again. And I've got this really cute one of Simba. Edit and save his shape. That's not too bad. I don't know whether it's going to work as good, but I'm going to put him in the memory. Say OK. And then delete him. And one more. Let's go back in here a third time the Lion King, and let's get Timon. Timon, I wasn't as happy with because his arm is turned and I can't get in the inside. If you have a Luminaire, you can get in the inside part, which is kind of cool. So when you hit edit and the flower, there will be another option here that says inside, and then you can get any of the inside things. But I think that's going to work. We're going to put it in the memory. Okay, so now that we have all that in the memory, I'm going to go home. And I'm going to go into my design center. And then if I hit the shapes button and the flower, here's my shapes. So we're going to do, okay, let's put Pumbaa here and let's rotate him. And say, okay. And then let's put Timon Okay, move him up here, rotate him right here, and then okay, and then let's go in here and let's get Simba. Say okay. Put him over here, rotate him. Okay, and normally I would go into my zoom see these little parts right here i don't want those they're going to be they're not part of my picture they're just the logo the the trademark sign so let's erase that one then let's move up this way i got a trademark here whoops go back 
Let's zoom in really close here. I'm trying to erase this without erasing his tail. I think that's good. And move this down here. And here's this other one we want to erase. Okay. So zoom back out again. Now I have my three um, characters. I want to put the hoop in here so I know how far it's going to fill. So if I do hit the shapes again, here's my hoop. Nine and a half by 14. Okay. So now I can fill this out. And I have a couple different ways I could do it. Um, but I want to just show you a really basic one that's kind of fun. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit this. This is the second menu. Remember that. Um, I'm going to say okay and come back. You've got the top menu, which is your outline. The bottom menu, which is your fill. Okay. The outline so far, since their shapes are not going to sew. So that's a good thing. Um, but I'll show you how to make them, trace them out anyway. So we're going to hit this. We're going to hit this. Hit select. And choose this one. And say OK. Then I'm going to make it. Well, let's do in shades of green because it's kind of a jungle thing. So OK. And pour and tap. Now that filled that hole in there. And then we're going to hit save in the memory because we want this to come back up again exactly the same way so let's save it in our memory then we're going to hit next once we've hit next i want this to be on i've always told you before turn it off but leave it on because then every time it comes in to make a line it's going to actually trace this guy out and then go to the next line and that will eventually trace out my characters so i'm gonna leave it on and i think i want to make this about 80%. I think that's pretty good. Um, and I'm going to set it down and hit preview. Okay. There's my little characters and you see how it outlined them for me perfectly. That's good. Now I'm going to set that down and then I'm going to push add. After I push add, I can go back into my design center, go back into the memory right here. And that design that I just created should be right here. Set that down. Now what I want to do is I want to do it again, but this time I want a different color green. I'm going to go really dark green. Say OK. And then I'm going to hit Next. This time I'm going to say turn this off because I don't want it to trace it twice. Once is enough. Oh, Off. Set that down. Size. This time I want the size to be even smaller. I'm gonna go all the way down to 50% and I'm gonna set that down. I'm gonna hit preview. And this is my second one that I just put in here. Now when I set that down, it will put it on top of the last one and I have just doubled into like a plaid. Isn't that fun? I really like it. I think it looks really fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and push embroidery and I'm going to sew that out with negative space in here. And I'll end up with a really fun design. So I'm going to um, go ahead and hit back home again without saving that. Um, if I was going to sew it out, I would save it. But I don't know if I'm going to or not. <laughs> That's the honest and goodness truth. Um, so I'm going to go into embroidery and then... I'm going to do this same thing. Now, let's just go home and go to my design center. I'm going to do the same thing. But this time, when I bring this out of the memory with Timon and Pumbaa and, and Simba and set it down, let's say that I, I actually embroidered around these and I wanted to create an embroidery a background behind the embroidery that's already there. So I am going to, it's probably not going to let me, yeah, I was afraid of that. Um, I just deleted the whole thing. I'm going to go back into my flower and I'm going to bring these characters back in again. So here's one. Let 
rotate. I should have done it. There's another way that you can all clear. There's another way you can do this. You can push, take it out of the memory, push this one, set it down. Now what I want to do is I want to say in the fill, do not sew. Okay. And then tap it. And now the background just went away. So isn't that, that works really good. So what I want to show you is what if I drew some lines going through it? So what I, I'm going to hit plus, move it. Now I had to learn this on my own. I could draw lines any old way, but then it'll sew into my characters and I have to erase it. Or if I say do not sew, it doesn't give a definite um division line so that might not be what I want so I had to kind of think this through what would work better this is the end of my outline but if I go into that the machine might stop me and tell me you can't go any further you can't continue with this because your lines go outside of the hoop so I had to think about it so what I really want to do is I want to go into here and say do not sew create a straight line now I can go into my characters and go out of the line and it won't do anything, but I'll show you how you can make it do an outline. Then I'm going to move it this way and let's go this way. Start again, go all the way. It's not letting me. Let's hit plus and get all the way over here. See, it did not go all the way. So let's, there we go. That should close it. Now we're going to do another one. Let's go here. I want to do a line going this way. I want right so you can see that it can be a little bit frustrating to get it exactly where you want it but you can get it then I'm gonna go over here and I think I'm gonna draw a line between the two guys right here and then let's do one from Simba up this way move the box Straight line, connected, looks good. We need another one here. So let's move the box over here. Okay, so now let's zoom all, all the way out. So we have all these dividers here. Then, did I divide? This one is not cut off, so we definitely need one there. So let's just do one from here to here, there. Okay, so each one of these sections, I can make a different fill. So that's just something that's going to be fun. I'm going to hit, hit, hit this, select. Let's do the first one with circles. Let's do the second one. Whoops, I don't want shapes. My brain isn't working all that good. <laughs> um, I want this one. And let's make it blue. And then we're going to go here. There's another one. I didn't, it didn't get those lines, you can see. So, but I could go back and fix it, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to do red. select let's do the leaves green okay 
there's another one and I got one more I got to do select and dark green and here so now I still have my three characters but I have all these different fills in the background and then when I hit next Remember, you always have to hit next till you get to this part right here. Remember, it's on. So when this is on, it's going to outline each one of these the way I want them to be outlined. And I can change the size. If I want to change the size, I have to make sure it's selected up in, in this corner. So when I tap this, see, the purple is the one that's going to change. So I can make those little circles small. And then when I hit this, then this blue is going to change. And if I hit this again, then this blue is going to change. So you got to change each one as you change the size of each one. And always make sure that the uh, this is on so it'll outline those little shapes. And then when I hit preview and OK, there's the design that I've created with it outlined. And I think it's kind of cute and it'll be fun to sew out. So um, I'm gonna show you what I've done with some of these same kind of um, techniques in just a minute. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I have a confession to make. Number one, I lost one of my um, samples that I had that had sewn out. I can't find it, it's probably at work and I don't wanna put this off anymore and wait until I go back to work. So I made the Lion King. And I went back, and I'll do a little bit of a close-up of this so you can see a little bit better than it shows right here. But I went back and I redrew it again, and I made the lines curvy because the straight lines were great, but the curvy lines are a little bit more fun. And I did it all in green, and I have the uh, Timon and Pumbaa and Simba right here. And I think it came out really, really cute. I'm very pleased with it. I don't know if I'm gonna go ahead and do something with it, but it kind of gets the idea across so you understand how you can do that. And if I could have done the exact same thing if I'd gone ahead and embroidered these characters and then put the background behind them, which you've seen me do on quite a few other different videos, especially if you go back and you look at the Hulk quilt, which I can't remember what the name of it is, but if you look for it, you'll see the whole quilt. You'll see some of the background um, quilting that I did on that. So it's basically the same idea, but this is like mixing up the different fills and just having a little bit of fun with it and trying to make a work of art out of it. So, and the other one that I also did with the Lion King, um, that was the double exposure, I did with a ballerina shape that was in the luminaire and the ballerina shape is really pretty and she's got some flowers around the side that I just deleted in the same way I deleted the trademark on that one and then I put the fills in and I double exposed it I'll also do a close-up of this so you can see it a little bit better um, but it's it just is something really pretty effect that you could do um, on a pillow and make it into a pillow and then it would be really pretty with the negative space and the plaid with the double exposure in two different colors. You could do it in three different colors. Make one 100% white, make one 75%, make one 50%, and then you'd have like a trip plaid. Wouldn't that be fun? So anyway, this was a kind of a quick little video, but I hope you learned another technique that you can do with your Luminaire, your Dream Machine, or your Solaire, and do something fun in the Design Center and learn how to use it at the same time. I hope you had a good time. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.